Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Foundation Friday. In today's video, we are doing a brand new product that recently launched in Sephora. This is the One Size Turn Up the Base Versatile Foundation Powder. If you didn't watch my Sephora haul from the VIB sale, I did mention that I purchased this product yesterday and I would talk about it in today's video. I did get invited to a virtual Zoom event on this product with Patrick Starr and Patrick Ta for them to teach us more about this product, but I thought I would just try it out for myself. This product retails for $33. US dollars. As of right now, today's date is April 14th. They do have their spring sales event going on. If you're a Rouge, Beauty Insider, or a VIB, kind of be a perfect opportunity to try out new products. It says a buttery, smooth, buildable, medium to full coverage powder foundation with a multi-use formula, a soft matte finish, and up to 12 hours of wear. They say it's good for normal, dry, combination, oily. I feel like a lot of brands are kind of pushing that, you know, all skin types. So I do think it depends. Honestly, I got this in the shade medium 5G golden. I am not gonna lie when I was in Sephora I was having the hardest time and it's hard because you can't touch testers You need to ask for help looking at the photos It's just very misleading of how the product looks in the pan and then in comparison to when you swatch it It looks super light here, but when I put it on it was like perfect the display at my local Sephora was not set up at all I did not know that there was a puff that comes with this to apply it So I unfortunately do not have the puff so we're just gonna do brushes today. I have this flat kabuki brush from Sigma and F80. I have one of my favorite brushes, this Tasha Hank and Henry. And then I have this Laura Mercier cheek color brush. It did say that you can build the coverage, so I would assume more of a flat, compact kabuki brush would give you more of a medium to full coverage. It's always buildable. I'm not going to apply concealer, but I am going to apply a primer. So I used this primer, I think, in my last Foundation Friday, and I loved it. So I'm gonna be using this Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer from Touch and Soul. So if you guys are new to my channel, I am combination oily T-zone. So I'm taking, like I said, my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush. Now I'm very picky with powders. I love liquid foundations. I love that you can alter the foundation. You know, it, it doesn't dry down like a powder, but I am kind of shook. Because I still see my freckles it's it's not super heavy on the skin I think this is probably from first impressions like first moment trying it on one of the more flawless easy application powders I think I've ever tried pa uh, foundation powders excuse me that I've ever tried I feel like some powders you can just tell this literally looks like a blurred out skin effect I mean you guys see how I'm shiny like from the beginning I'm shiny freckle action I mean nothing crazy you can see how that powder just muted everything out I don't like powder foundations like I'll use them like here and there but literally if it was like the one product I had to choose I wouldn't choose it the shade is perfect I swatched like four different shades thinking that they were my shade and it wasn't until I got down to medium five if I went to someone and said is this powder liquid they probably wouldn't know what to say they probably would be like well maybe you said it with the translucent powder no honey this is powder foundation my only thing with the powder foundation is I don't know how much to use like am I gonna go through it like I know you should build your coverage and that will help you save product but I don't know I feel like when I look at liquid I can pump it no build that way but with this yeah you know what I mean all right so now that everything is applied and it's at the coverage that I personally like I can always tell if a foundation's not gonna work or if it is gonna work and I don't see how this can go wrong I can maybe see I might get a little shiny they do still have that freshness like that glowiness to the skin I'm not super too matte like too drying it's just it evens everything out it looks like skin I literally can put this on and not have to feel like I have to add blush or bronzer like I could walk out with just this it's amazing it's crazy but I also got this product it was mentioned in my Sephora spring haul it's the Patrick Ta for face. She's that girl cream and powder blush. I'm gonna go in with that cream. Everything is blending as if I had a cream liquid foundation on. I'm gonna use the bottom part of the blush and pretty much just go in and set that cream. All right, so I finished off today's look. I think since I have such a dark, smoky eye going on, brightening the underneath of the eyes would have just brought the eyes out a little bit more, but it's okay for the video. I do feel like I am a little bit more dewier, and I think that's because this morning when I got out of the shower, I did put on an oil 
which I do think is still residing on my skin, which is fine. And it could be the primer that I use, but I don't really think it's that. I do eventually see myself having to touch up, just absorb some of that shininess throughout the day. This has completely changed my perspective of powder foundations. I've never had a powder foundation blend down as flawlessly as this one. True medium buildable coverage. Usually when I put a powder foundation on, I can immediately tell there's texture, there's buildup of that product, it looks powdery, you know, you can just tell. My skin, you cannot tell. The fact that I can just quickly throw that on it was a quick and easy application overall with this foundation from one size turn up the base probably one of my favorite powder foundations i'm gonna do a quick outro before i do the test wear videos but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys are new make sure you guys give this video a nice big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and show some love and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys all right you guys so it is probably like five and a half almost six hours in I am shiny. I do think I can touch up the makeup for sure. So I'm gonna quickly try that. So I have the foundation right here. We're going to open it. So taking a look up close after just, you know, touching up on the foundation. Not as shiny as I was, but I am shiny. But even just taking that powder and touching up, I don't see it like separating or you can see like where you touched up on. I mean, I feel like a lot of foundations and powders tend to do that you can see exactly where you touched up on it builds up and it's cakey you don't see that with this it still looks like skin so thumbs up for the six hour wear test and the overall products and i'm definitely in love